my fellow gamers, some Paul Geek Gamer, and welcome back to the channel where today, as you can see in front of you, we have finally got our hands on the Blooming Ultimate Edition of Red Dead and also the Collector's Box, which I am very, very happy to get my hands on. It's taken a long while because at the moment, when the time I'm recording this, it is five past, literally five past nine on the 26th of October. Yep, I've had to wait all day for this sodding thing to be delivered. Literally, it's just been absolutely nuts. It's just annoying the fact that the strategy guide I have here arrived much earlier than this thing, despite the fact this was ordered just that little bit later, around about the start of August, compared to this, but this was pre-ordered back in August. Yeah, I had to do it online because when I tried to do or pre-order it in store, um, it didn't exactly go the way I wanted. They just kind of, let's put it bluntly, they kind of um, ran out of their allocation, which, yeah, just that little bit frustrating. But either way, I am so freaking pleased to actually have all this. Really, really am. Um, I'm not going to bother opening this up because... This is just going to contain too many spoilers. We'll take the plastic off it, and we just need to try and find what. Just need to remember where I put my blooming scissors. Um, I don't know. Let me look. Make sure. Be careful. Try not to cut my blooming hand, but fingers open either. And wow, this the quality of this looks apps. It feels really good. Um, ooh, what the hell's this? Just a uh, little back page, but aside from the back, nice Rockstar lo logo, which is just awesome. These members keep all this blooming shut. Right, let's have a quick open up and see what's inside. I don't want to go in too far because obviously it's just going to go into too much. And what's going on? What we got? Premier missions, exploration, atlas, the world map, weapons, items, and extras. And I'm not going to go any further than that. It's just the fact that too many spoilers. I want to at least get into the game, at least complete the story mode before I even dive into that. I want to explore, be completely neutral. Right, let's move this out of the way. And I'm thinking out of the two of them, um, we're gonna go for the game next. We're, it's gonna, we're gonna save this literally to the last. I was thinking of opening this up second, but screw it. It is gonna be the last. It's the biggest thing ever. A first proper collector's edition I've actually bought, and I thought I do not regret it one sodding blooming bit. Right, I need to get into this bloody game though. I'm damaging. It's supposed to have um, a really fancy map with it. Now it's just case, can I actually get into it? <laughs> and boom. Oh my god. And it. Even better is the fact that it's a steel, steel case. So there's not that many of these around. There probably is, but compared to what, compared to the normal ones, but, oh, and we have a map and a little sphinx. I don't know what that is. And we have all the ultimate edition stuff we get. I'm not gonna, sh not saying anything about them in terms of the back. No, yeah, the code's on the back, not that you can see it, but... Ooh, I get all that blooming stuff. That is freaking nice. It's zoomed, focused in. Yeah, I get all that blooming stuff, including all this stuff when the actually online kicks off, so... That is pretty cool. Right, we'll get to that map in a moment. Right, I just need to open this bad boy. Oh, that, that's really cool. And two discs. Not only that, we get the Warhorse thing. Was the Warhorse War and the Outlaw Survival Kit. Nice. Put that there out of the way. And we seem to have two metal. I was not expecting to get one in here. But, right, let me just stop. Open this up just so we can get a proper full blown view of the world just to see exactly what it's. Oh my god, they got stuff on the other side, but let's have a look. And wow, this whole you have got to be shitting me in terms of the size of this. That is absolutely bloody bonkers. I remember this area here from Red Dead 1. It's a little bit annoying, Mexico isn't here, really is, but. This was a humongous ma 
area of the mat and not only that we've got all this area up here that is just completely nuts black water up there i think marston's farm from red dead one's round about this point and then we've got all this area up here to explore this is going to take forever and a day to freaking complete just to do every single little um thing and look at the map which is zoom in a moment now you're zooming in really close like you can see like tall trees here it gives an indication of what little what type of animals and stuff are here right the great plains look like um great plains you can just about see it we got like deer open big valley lots of it looks like boar got an x marks the spot there that was i reckon that's be interesting to look at and then we've got all the towns and stuff but that is just absolutely bonkers not to mention we got detailed maps of all the settlements from Blackwater to Valentine to Saint Saint Denis. So, wow, that is really really cool. And then we have got what's like the standing the map that the standing map which comes with the game, which just open it up. It's near enough like a two sided map. Don't really go into as much detail as what that one is up there, but does look really cool. We got the new section here, and we turn it over, and we got new Austin down there. But like I said, just a little bit disappointed that Mexico is not in the game. Really, I might have to when I get a chance. I might actually have to travel down there just to see where the bridge is because I know it's round about this sort of point. Because remember, we had that long mission coming down this section here. And I think the bridge was round about there, so it's probably not been built. I can't really see any, any, any indications of any roads or stuff down that section, so obviously it's 11 years early and all, but holy crap, that is just freaking nuts. Absolutely glorious. Right, and that's that done now. The big boy, the freaking collector's box. I know there's meant to be a shitload of stuff in here and I can't quite remember what is in it. I know there's a treasure map, but aside from that, um, memory's a little bit strong. I know we've got some pins, we've got a little bandana thing, and some playing cards, some cigarette cards, look pretty cool, but let's just dive in. Try, obviously try not to damage this box and Open it up, and holy cow, you have got to be seeing it, a proper metal finish, listen, that is just, that is bonkers, right, I need to get this bugger out, without damaging the box, and I think the box has been damaged a little bit, we've got, just up here, you can see where all the little holes and stuff, where it's been, Presumably been laid upside down, no fault to the delivery diver and such, but get it out and well, not to mention we got a little locking key with it so we can actually lock it up to stop people getting inside it. But I'm gonna use this after we're done, definitely gonna use that. Right, put that there now. Time to open it up and just to see exactly what it is we get. Oh, complete. I am so excited about this, and, okay, lift it up, oh, I forgot about this, completely forgot about this, it's the shop guide you actually look at in game, that details everything that you can buy, we'll have a look at that just in a moment, we'll want to see exactly what else is in here, so, we have, um, Looks like a little treasure map, I think. Oh, oh no, I think I got that upside down. Where there supposedly is some loot. You can pause that if you want. If we were playing the game, you haven't got this. Pause it by all means. But that is going to take some good hunting to try and find what the hell that is. I've no idea where the hell it is on the map, but we just got to look that for that area. Wow. Next up. We've got the bandana. I don't really want to take any of this stuff out, obviously. I want to keep it as pristine as possible, but... That looks really, looks really, really good quality. 
Next up we have... What's this? Including one collectible coin, 13 and up. I don't know. Let's open it a moment and have a look. Uh, what is this? Red Dead Redemption coin, cl challenge coin. I am very, very intrigued. Holy cow. Wow. You have got to be shitting me. It's like a brass, little brass coin with a bifin on. That, I have to admit, my finger's a little bit dirty, but that I have to admit, if you can just about see that in the light, that looks really, really cool. I might have to turn that light down a moment. Very, very impressive, that. Next up. Hmm, I wonder what's in here, I think we've got pins and a few little bits and bobs, but ooh, interesting. First up, we have, looks like some cigarette cards. I don't want to open this stuff, but obviously it's my collector's box, I'm never going to sell this, but screw it, I'm opening it, don't care. Let's have a look at that. Just about focusing. That looks so cool. Open up carefully, don't damage it. And also, make sure we don't damage said little cards that are inside. What have we got? We've got a good few in here. These, I have to admit, look really, really fancy. What have we got here? Coral snake, hot air balloon. They remind me, I did see a little um, screenshot earlier today when I was trying my best to avoid the bloody subreddit and literally seen someone in one of these things. So that is, I'm gonna have to try and find one of those buggers. I really wanna know where the hell that is. And what have we got there? Oh, phonograph, phonograph. Early record player. And then we've got the American pet. That. I have to admit, looks really cool. Oh, we've got little fancy stuff on the back. The horses. American paint horse. We've got different... I'm sorry, we've got different breeds. And then we've got different stuff on this... And the different stuff on all these little cards. What's this one? Robert Elliott Patches. That was a real... What have we got here? Lawrence Dunn. Louis Dorad. Jesse Raymond. Augustus Trailer, Tremlo. No idea what all this means, but... They've really, really gone to town with this. I, I mean, absolutely. And next up, we've got a deck of playing cards. These I am not opening. I just don't want to open. I don't know why, I just don't want to ruin them. Playing cards, if they're not the plastic coated ones, I've always ended up damaging them. So these bad boys are staying as much as I want to see them. We're going to keep them in there just for the time period. I may open them up another time, but for the moment, nope. And then in here, let's put that back there. We have something this little goodie bag or something. I think these are the pins, which we're obviously not going to get out. And oh my god, wow, look at these. What's that we've got on that? Like a um, shotgun, we got a knife. Um, we got a revolver, looks proper sick, looks like a little hatchet, what the hell's this? I'm not sure what that one is, really, really not sure. Then lastly, a long ass rifle. These, are they metal? Yeah, these are actually metal, I'm, I'm, sh I'm surprised. I'm Wow, like I said, really, really gone to town with that. Right, these obviously going back in love the goodie bag. Then lastly, now I can actually get the bugger out. Let's close that up a moment. This, from what memory serves me right, is a jigsaw puzzle. I'm too right, I'm bloody opening this thing. I'm, it's probably some things I'm not, the deck of cards I'm not, but... 
Oh, just do my best not to damage anything. So much the term mint in box, it isn't mint in box anymore. It's mint, but not in box. <laughs> right, and the puzzle, not that I'm going to be doing it, 100 piece puzzle. And definitely we're not taking these out. I want to do this, but definitely don't have the time. But I've really got to have a look online and see what the puzzle looks like. It definitely is something I want to do, but no, no. Right now, right, I need to get this back in the box without damaging anything. Right, and lastly, this, the Wheel of Rosen and Co. catalogue. Holy cow, I'm going to have to zoom on, zoom on in on this. Right, and let us see, I've already noticed a little bit of damage on the bottom corner, but I'm really not too fussed about that. So, oh my god, this looks so delicate. I can't wait to actually scroll through this buddy magazine where we do find one of these little stores, but pistols, revolvers, repeaters, rifles, shotguns, ammunition, accessories, hunting and fishing supplies. Well, I just want to go through the whole booklet with you guys, but obviously I, I'm not, but what we got there, gentle, Cataman revolver, double action revolver, $65. Jesus, so that's going to be quite expect. Ooh, volcanic pistol, Schofield revolver, the muzzle pistol. Ooh, semi-automatic. Can imagine that's going to be quite deadly. And he's actually giving all the stats in terms of what they can do. I wonder what the customization options are for all this. And then we've got all the rifles, Lancaster, the carbine. The Vatamin, Linchester, I'm not literally just going through the old book. Bolt Action Rifle, Springfield. Ooh. I think that's going to be pretty ass deadly. Oh, we got the Sniper Rifles. That is bloody awesome. I should just skip a few pages. And what we got down here? Help. Potent Health Cure. Drugs, de drugs Department. $4.50. We've got Potent Snake Oil. Potent bitters. Let's go a few more pages down. Ooh, what? Outfits, hats, coats, shirts, vests, pants, boots, accessories. Wow. Oh my god. What's this? Raising the scrapper. You are kidding me, the ferret. He's got a monocle. That is $98.25. Christ, I don't know how much in terms we get permission or bounties or all that crap, but loads of different freaking. Oh my god. They have really, really gone to town with this, and I mean really gone to town. You can just do the full outfits or just buy all the little bits and bobs. What's here? We've got all the trousers, boots, gloves, ties. Suspenders, oh my god, and then the different types of hats, Jesus Christ, that is absolutely freaking nuts, and just to think, it's going to take an hour and a half to actually install this game, because moments now is literally about half an hour late, it's taken us half an hour just to get through all this and just just the sheer amount of stuff we've got. It's just ridiculous. Holsters, gun oil, Vodalier, gun upgraded gun belts. Then we then we got different types of ammo. Jesus I really just do want to know what the customization options are with this. It's just absolutely bloody bonkers i just can't believe how much stuff we've got with all this it's just absolutely bloody nuts and i like i said i seriously god can't wait to play the game but by the time the game's installed it's going to be near enough 11 o'clock and i just want to hit this sack because i'm absolutely knackered not before we get this video edited i don't load and hopefully it'll be around about half 10 11 o'clock by the by the time this freaking unboxing video is up but 
Holy crap, I need to move those scissors. And wow, that is just absolutely freaking bonkers. Just how much stuff there is in this pack. Absolutely bonkers. And I just got the proper fun ass task of actually packing it all up, putting this little bolt on it. It's just just to make sure and then try and find somewhere to put it all but I am absolutely flabbergasted with this all this absolutely I'm shocked but I am so happy with it really really am and the one uh, collector's edition that I wanted is with this and I do not regret it so anyways thank I think on that note I am going to end this one here so thank you very much for joining me for this long-ish unboxing it's gonna be fun trying to edit it edit it in the next hour or two so yeah so like i said thank you very much for joining me so if you have enjoyed it please do make sure to leave that like and also if you're new to the channel and do want to see much more please do much make sure to subscribe because what i'm hoping to do tomorrow is to get um oh no i stop the camera over them up to get a good hour worth of gameplay recorded just to get the ball rolling and then we can decide how we're going to do it try and do the streams or not so we'll see but like i said subscribe yeah if you want to <laughs> so like i always say every like comment and subscription helps my channel so so much and i'll see you next time